Welcome back to The Vocalist. Today, we are listening to the song Holy Diver by Dio. I have heard Ronnie James Dio one other time before, and that was in the song Stargazer, so I am continuing my education today. Here we go. We're going back. We're going back. Um, that very first beat kind of caught me by surprise when it was the, I mean, obviously I was distracted a bit by the video, but then you've got this sort of ambiance music playing. So I didn't know where this was going and how it was going to start. I, I think I might've rolled my eyes at one point. Cause I was just like, ugh, why, why have I not listened to more of him more recently? I was reminded there are just so many qualities in his vocals that I love. Um, there is a precision in his attack to every line, to every word. Um, and then that tone is just so beautifully balanced because it's got such edge and bite. Um, and even at moments, a little bit of grit to it, but it's just so full and buoyant at the same time. And so, yes, I was shaming myself a little bit <laughs> as I was listening. Um, let me see here. I think this is about where it starts. Oh, that was just it. Okay. Let me back it up just a smidge more. I love this opening beat. It's, I, I'm i gonna use the word sluggish and I don't mean that in a bad way, um, but it's just got this sort of, I don't know, you can just hang on to the backbeat so well that it just has this extra groove and this sort of, I don't know, mm, I'll come up with a word. I'm it, Whatever face I just made, that word, <laughs> here we go. if that was a hum or an ooh or maybe a hum turning into an ooh but you can almost hear that oral cavity space like if I hmm if I make a humming sound or an ooh sound but I keep things really uh, really closed it sounds very different than if I open and have a little space between my molars hmm ooh like you can create this gorgeous orb of sound just by creating oral cavity space uh, and so that's what it sounds like to me I just couldn't tell if it was a hum or a new. And that in 
in contrast, that ugh, I know we're so <laughs> we have a long way to go. That big round sort of mm, ooh or humming sound that we heard at the beginning, the contrast between that and then the next sound we get instantly is night and day. It's so I love that. I love getting that much variety so early in a piece. And hey, let me play that again. There is this wideness, a brightness, a slightly more forward placement in that sound. And obviously things change when you change the shape of your vocal track. So of course saying yeah is a lot different than ooh or hmm, but we're still getting this huge contrast of sound. And I just, I love that. Final time. <laughs> I can't not stop when I was talking about precision holy diver like just the way he's articulating every single consonant and then it it feels not cut off but we've got some slightly more articulated sounds at the beginning of this so then when he extends a word or elongates a phrase it's that much more prominent um here we go holy diver and then coming of me it's just this gorgeous lovely line and it was a beautiful choice instead of coming of me he really created that legato phrasing and it's just i don't know a, the contrast is just insane ride the tiger you can see his stripes but you know he's clean and then despite the fact that we have see what i mean we have these beautiful bright sounds he's creating that warmth and that that richness by just a by not allowing the spread to take over see what i mean instead of see what i mean so we're getting that richness still in this beautiful legato phrase I promise I won't go back, but when, on Holy Diver, we got a little bit more of that sort of rock star sound that I love so much. So a little bit more of that mix involved and it's got me very excited for, I don't know what's to come, but hopefully, hopefully what I'm thinking is coming. Um, you'll have to let me know the harmonies, they sound like he, um, is duetting himself, but I don't know if someone else is singing those harmonies. They're tight. They're real nice. So let me. I'm gonna 
back it up just a smidge. One thing that's striking me about this song as a whole is it's not incredibly high in his range. And one, that's brilliant to have a song like that in your repertoire so that when you are in concert, you're not going, you know, at, you're not going full blown at the top of your max all the time. You have some opportunity for variety and rest. But I say rest um, cautiously because you can hear in this mid-range place how much texture he's able to incorporate. So it's not necessarily that he's rest he's resting parts of his voice and allowing exercise in others. Um, but yeah, it's just the, that growl, that grit is more prominent here than than I than I remember hearing the first time I heard him. We're also getting crystal clear diction and I like what he's able to do with the words and with the shaping of the words in this part of his voice. Yeah, like masquerade on raid, he just really digs into that. that startled me <laughs> hold on actually I'm not gonna go back I just maybe a tiny bit I'm not gonna look I just want to hear the music <laughs> Okay, I know lip syncing is a thing with these music videos, but uh, you can see even in the way he says me, there's a roundness in his lips, which is giving us that height to the vowel. That roundness. Okay, I'm gonna go back. I want to, when he said clean at the very end, it's, it was a nice reminder of also how gorgeous his voice is, even though we didn't hear as much of that quality. I feel like the focus of this piece was within that grit and the texture, but let me. That, uh... Not only is it just such a gorgeous mix sound, but we got to hear a little bit of agility. So I know I'm reminded of all that he can do, at least from what I heard in Stargazer. So this was a different, um, 
a different style in some ways. In some ways it's the same because he, as an artist, has his own style, but I'm, I imagine the next piece I hear of his is going to give me something, again, completely different. You'll, you can always hear that through line, uh, no matter what an artist is singing, we can hear the same qualities throughout, but so far I've gotten a lot of variety in just the two pieces I've heard, so I'm looking forward to hearing more. I think that's it for this one. Like I said, even though we got a lot of grit, a lot of texture, a lot of mid-range singing, there were still moments throughout where you could hear inklings of other skills um, and other voicing. So we heard a bit of a head dominant mix. We heard more of a head voice at one point. We heard the agility come through. It's just, I don't know. I, I remember thinking what a unique voice he has, but also it's one, it's just like what you want to hear when you hear these epic rock songs. So yes, I will be listening to more, but that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for this recommendation and for watching with me and hopefully I will see you next time.